So before we actually get into this video, this is actually a video that I recorded a little bit before the Retriever DLC got put into early access for us content creators. So if I'm not mistaken, there's a couple times in here that I'm talking about the release of the Labrador Retrievers, but that hadn't quite happened yet because this was before early access. But I kept having other projects pop up that I needed to upload, so this one's kind of got put on the back burner. But I think this will go down as one of my most heartbreaking yet exciting rares that I've ever found. Now without further ado, let's get into the video. Hello everybody, welcome back to another European bison hunting video here on the Hunter Call of the Wild. We have done one of these very, very recently here on the channel and you guys really enjoyed it. So I figured, why not come back out here again and try to get ourselves another trophy European bison. Last time... We ended up getting ourselves a level 5 that ended up making diamond, and I'm really hoping that that was not the only good thing we have on the map for European Bison. So the goal for today is going to be to search all the locations that we didn't get around to searching last time. We're going to try and cover every single inch of land that these Euro Bison can possibly drink at, because we only went through about half of it last time. We still got to finish going through the rest of this river. We got to check the rest of the shore. We got to check all of this river over here. We've got to go up here and check this big lake. We got to check more of like the rivers up in this area right here. There's a lot of ground we still have to cover. There we've got some more European bison. We got a couple of level threes as well as a two and a four. Okay, so we're going to try and get that four for sure. And uh, we're also going to see if there's anything else to take down because I, I guarantee that there's at least one that we couldn't spot. Uh oh, they are alerted. That is not a good thing. Let's just get a shot into that guy right there. And uh, see if we can hopefully get a shot into one of these as well. I think that's good. Yeah, I think we got a good shot into him. Let's do a third one just to make sure. And yeah, now he's going down. You know, with the Labrador Retriever coming to the game very, very soon, I figured we might as well go for some of these animals that we're probably not going to get much uh, time to hunt after the update because we're going to be focusing very heavily on the Labrador and also using it to hunt tons of different types of birds and rabbits and things like that because, uh, you know, bison- Oh, gosh, there's another five. <laughs> well, that's another level five bison. Oh my gosh, this is a repeat of the last time that we hunted bison already. Man, as I was saying, though, we're not going to get too many chances to hunt animals like the bison after that uh, dog releases, at least for a couple of weeks after that, because we're going to focus on doing what we can to get the most out of the brand new dog and really test it in every way possible. So we're going to do our best to get some hunts done on other maps that aren't for stuff like waterfowl and rabbits and stuff like that. But that is another level 5 European bison. This is the second one that we have found since we started hunting them on our map again. Now I was really hoping that we could end up getting a rare, but I will take another level 5 because that is Honestly, just as cool. Now, the question is, are we going to be able to get a good shot into him? I don't know if I like this angle. And in fact, I think we're probably going to move across the water. Let's see if we can get this guy's attention. There we go. He is now alerted. Let's see if we can just drop a shot into him like that. And I think that's good. Yeah, it's good. He's going down. So we got ourselves a level five on the ground. Let's see if we can find those first two that we shot and then we'll go over and grab him. There is one of them right there. This is a level 4. 118.22 is not a bad way to start the day, but we got something a little bit more interesting down over there. So we're just going to skim through this area, see if we can find the uh, other one that we shot somewhat close to this area. Uh, there's our blood right there. And there he is. He's right there. You know, that's crazy to think just how close those two level 5s were to each other. The other level 5 was right up here. And now the one that we got in this video was down here, so they were very, very close. Man, if only I had just continued hunting that day, we would have found two of them in one video, which would have been pretty insane. There is some more bison already. These things are just everywhere. I love these European bison. They are super, super plentiful and a lot of fun to hunt. And that was an awful shot, but second one should have been good enough to get into a vital. This should be our level 5 right here, and honestly, this guy looks different than the other one, and he's still a diamond, 127.97, he barely made it. So this is the small horns then, and that means the other one that we got was probably the big horn, so we have two different horn variations. That is incredible. That is such a nice way to start the day. Honestly, 
From a distance, he didn't even look like he was going to be a diamond. And yeah, these horns are way different. They're really short, but they're a lot fatter than the other ones, which is kind of cool, actually. That is just wild. This guy does not look like a diamond. He really doesn't look anywhere near the uh, the size of the other diamond. It really threw me off, but I suppose that's kind of cool that something like this does end up making it. There's a level three running away from us. Let's just sink a couple of shots into him and another one and another one and one more for good measure and down he goes. Grab this guy real quickly as we head over to our level four, which unfortunately we did not hit vitally. So that's a little bit sad. We're going to have to track it for a good distance before we actually find him. There we go. We finally found him way away from the water in a field nearby. 115.21 was the score. And honestly, that would have been a decently small level four. So it's not too big of a deal that we didn't get the vitals there. Just uh, very unfortunate. We barely missed the vitals both times. Those were so close to actually making it. Well, we got a few of them right there. This is honestly an interesting spot to find them right here. I can't say I've ever hunted Eurobison at this part of the lake. Because usually, like, I don't spend enough time hunting them to actually, like, search the map as thoroughly as we are this time around. I mean, this is the second video looking for zones and trying to find out what we've got on the map. So we're going to places that normally I wouldn't even think twice about just completely avoiding because this isn't a super convenient area to hunt. But I figured if we want to be as thorough as we can, we got to go everywhere. Uh, we're just going to try for a brain shot, I think. And yeah, the brain shot did end up paying off. We've also got another level three right here that we're going to sink a shot into and drop him in one hit as well. That had to have been a heart shot right there for him to drop that quickly. But as I was saying, like the last time that we grinded the European bison, like actually grinded a few hundred kills worth of them on live stream over the course of a couple of weeks, I didn't even search my entire map. I just went to a few of the lakes that ended up having a lot of uh, good herds and I just set up on them and kept rotating on those herds and never really checked the rest of my map. So this time we're actually gonna take the time and thoroughly check everything. To make sure that we're finding all our zones to make sure that we are not missing any diamonds or rares. And then once we've searched everything, then we'll set up on some of my favorite areas and uh, start rotating on them. Uh, very similar to what we did the last time that we hunted European bison here and did a full on grind. Whoa, 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 whoa. Oh my gosh. No, it's a guaranteed troll. It's a guaranteed troll. Oh my gosh. How does this keep happening to us? How do we keep finding just... Tr <laughs> oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. I'm... I don't know what to say. That's guaranteed. That's not... It can't make it. It literally can't make it. How do we keep getting guaranteed trolled rares? This is the second guaranteed troll rare that we have had since... The release of Emerald Coast. We had the level five leucistic. Well, actually, that wasn't that wasn't a guaranteed troll rare, but you know what I mean. It was a troll rare, and this is a level five, what appears to be albino, but it's guaranteed to troll. There's no chance of making diamond. Yeah, it's albino. That track right there that we just picked up says albino. There he is, right there. There he is, our guaranteed troll albino. Let's get beside him and try to get a good shot on him. I think we should be able to. I just got to calm down, make sure that I'm not uh, wobbly. But he is giving us a decent angle here. Come on, turn to the right more. I think he's got to turn to the right here. That looked like a solid shot right there. I couldn't see that being bad. Maybe it is though. Maybe it is. Okay, we got to panic now. Now it's time to panic. Oh gosh, the bad luck just continues. The bad luck just continues. That had to be good. Oh, it was good. Oh my gosh. <laughs> oh, I panicked so hard for a second. Oh my gosh. And yeah, it was a vital hit for the second shot. I just picked up the uh, track and it does say 
vital, uh, vital organ hit. So we did end up getting a good shot on this guy. I just... What has been going on this last month? We, we came off of one of the worst months I've ever had Great One grinding, where we literally didn't get a Great One for a full month while I was still grinding for them virtually every single day. And now we've followed it up with one of the craziest months in my entire YouTube career. This has just been crazy. And to think that this was that close to being a super rare again is insane. But he didn't quite make it. He fell short. But at the end of the day, I don't even care. This guy is going to look incredible in the lodge. And it's just capping off a phenomenal last few weeks. This is insanity. Now, we just got to hope that we can continue this luck when we go to bird hunting on Revontuli Coast and New England Mountains and the other maps when the brand new Labrador Retrievers come to the game. Because uh, I don't have any good bird trophies off of Rev, as far as I know, aside from like maybe the Red Ptarmigan and a couple of Diamonds, but I don't really have a lot of them. So I'm hoping the luck will continue, but that's just insane. I can't believe we once again have a guaranteed troll max level rare animal this is probably the fourth or fifth time this has happened to me throughout my time playing the hunter call of the wild it's uh it never gets easy it's never easy to to see something this crazy get so excited and then immediately just have your hopes and dreams is shattered when you look at the score estimate but either way this is such a beautiful trophy and it's going to be a phenomenal addition to the lodge well, you know, I was going to search the rest of the areas that we have not hunted, but after this, I don't know if I want to. I'm kind of heartbroken. I think we're going to put it off for another video. We're going to come back to the Euro Bison if you guys leave a comment down below and let me know that you want to see more of it, because I do want to finish searching the rest of the map, but I don't know if I can bring myself to shoot any more Euro Bison after this. I think I need a break from shooting Euro Bison for at least a day. And then we'll come back to it at a later date. So leave a comment down below if you want to see more Euro Bison. And uh, yeah, if, if you guys want to see more, then we will definitely do more. There's that first shot, though. We just barely were a little bit too far forward. If I had aimed a little bit farther back, we would have got into the lung. Second shot, though, ended up being a good shot, and it got him down. You know, I see why this guy trolled, I think. He's a little bit wonky. He's not even at all. So that very well might be why he ended up trolling. So I think I'm going to go ahead and put this guy here. It's really the only spot that I have that I can put him in our main lodge that makes sense and doesn't take away anything else that I'd like. I mean, I could replace this guy right here, but I think instead we're going to use this for our other diamond Euro Bison right there. That is looking pretty good, and there is our albino. I am really liking the way that our lodge has turned out over the years. We've got a lot of good trophies in here. There's definitely some things I would still like to replace. Like, I'd love to get a bigger, rare blacktail. That could be a future grind that we could do here on the channel if you guys would like to see that. I would also like to get some uh, bigger, rare albino uh, moose. We don't have a massive albino. This is the only level 4 I've ever found, and it's kind of a smaller 4. So I would like to get one that's better than that. There's also a lot of other trophies that could use some upgrading. Like, for example, we've got some smaller rares up on the wall here. Like, uh, where is it? That guy right there. That black tail needs an upgrade. Um, obviously, we could always upgrade geese if we find better ones. I also do need to go back and do another gator hunting video as it's been a few weeks since I did the last one and you guys really were enjoying those and wanted to see more so we'll probably go back for more gators soon and uh, of course more crocodiles in the future as well. But you know until then thank you all so much for watching I appreciate each and every one of you and you know thank you for being here along this journey. This was a very very up and down video in terms of our excitement levels going from a happy we found a five to insanely happy that we found a level 5 albino to then very disappointed when I saw the score estimate and it has been kind of crazy but I appreciate each and every one of you if you're new to the channel consider subscribing as well as leaving a comment and a like down below and I will see you all in the next one peace